Hi, Cinema 5D here at NAB 2015. We're at the Black Magic booth and Black Magic just surprised us with a bunch of new products, very interesting products. And one of the new products is the new Black Magic Ursa mini camera with a 4.6K new sensor. So Blackmagic announced four different versions of this camera, one using the original 4K sensor that they used in the Arsa, which starts at around $3,000. And then they have a new one, which is the 4.6K sensor. It looks really nice on the screens, and um, it, it starts at $5,000. Uh, so there is an EF and an PL version that makes it four versions of this camera. Out of the box, it seems very, very nice uh, to work on the shoulder. It has a built-in shoulder pad. It comes with a hand grip. It looks a little bit similar um, to the FS7, so I think uh, Blackmagic took some inspiration from Sony there. Um, it's definitely much, 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 much more ergonomic than the original Ursa, which is incredibly heavy. This one isn't light either. I, we tried it on our shoulder but it works really nice. They also have a new Ursa uh, viewfinder, which is a full HD OLED viewfinder. It's an optional accessory for the camera and costs around $1,500. Uh, and it comes with an SDI connector. That means it will work with any camera. And this is quite interesting because this will shake up the viewfinder market quite a bit. Um, other than that, um, the Ursa Mini has a built-in five inch full HD display, touchscreen. Um, it, records to CFast cards uh, to ProRes. Does it do RAW as well? Yeah, it records to uh, ProRes and it also does ProRes 4444XQ, which is the new ProRes flavor. And uh, it also does RAW internal 12-bit. Uh, what is nice in RAW is that it uh, records, it has a built-in gyroscope, so the camera records uh, the camera's positioning uh, to the RAW format. So you can in post uh, see uh, the pitch, yaw and roll of the camera, uh, the way the camera was positioned, which can, which can be very helpful in post-production. Um, what is also nice is that uh, Blackmagic told us that they developed uh, a new sensor for this camera, which they also introduced in the, uh, uh, in the normal Ursa camera. And this sensor has uh, supposedly has 15 stops of dynamic range. So definitely the dynamic range of this sensor is improved over the previous version, which is nice and which is, of course, for cinema production, a very, very um, important feature. It has uh, XLR inputs. It also has a built-in microphone, which helps syncing external uh, audio signals. Oh, actually, we didn't talk about aperture control. It doesn't have that, I think. The hand grip. Does it have an active? There is an aperture button on it. Oh, cool. What's also nice is that the camera is using VLOG batteries, so you can use existing batteries with this uh, camera. Uh, you don't have to invest into a new uh, battery system, basically. Um, also, um, it seems to have an aperture control. We will find out about this more, but um, I assume that it will be like existing um, Blackmagic cameras and have EF aperture control, active aperture control. So the main difference in comparison to the regular Ursa is that the Ursa Mini has half the frame rate options. So um, the Ursa Mini goes up to 60p in 4K. The regular Ursa does up to 120 frames. Um, also uh, a feature is that it has a global shutter, but that global shutter is only uh, available up to 30 frames per second. So as soon as you go over 30 uh, frames per second, um, it becomes a rolling shutter camera. Another interesting thing about the sensor is that um, Blackmagic custom built this sensor. So any other sensor that Blackmagic used so far uh, was an off-the-shelf sensor, but this sensor, we were told, uh, Blackmagic custom designed uh, specifically for the new cameras. This is a very nice offering uh, from Blackmagic. Um, we particularly weren't particularly great fans of the original Ursa because of its size and weight, um, but this one looks completely different and I think it can shake up the market quite a bit. Uh, the, the initial price point of $3,000 for the 4K version is very, very competitive. Um, even the $5,000 uh, for the uh, 4.6K version is still very attractive. Um, I personally just wish it had um, ND filters because, I mean, what we can see now from the spec list at least, that's the only feature that's really missing to make this camera work kind of out of the box because it comes with the hand grip and the optional shoulder pad, which is an optional accessory, but still it's from Blackmagic. So um, it's a kind of pick up and shoot camera, which the original Ursa clearly isn't. The only thing missing would be the ND filters. 
But uh, yeah, we will uh, publish another video and talk to Black Magic Design uh, later today and uh, find out all the details. And uh, stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more news.